YouTube friends, what's going on? David Lee back with a brand new video. Today we're talking about a microphone shotgun wind cover. Why would you need a wind cover for your microphone? Well, if you're actually using a shotgun microphone like a Rode NTG 2, 3, 4, uh, maybe the Deity S Mic 2, there's times where you're outside and there's just too much wind coming at your microphone. And when that happens, that means you're gonna have a tougher time getting cleaner audio. Now there's different ways to combat that. You can use a standard little uh, foam thing that they give you uh, when you buy a brand new microphone. But those small little wing covers really aren't much of a wing cover. It's really meant for uh, combating like pops, stuff like that, right? When you have um, someone talking and maybe they're doing too much, right? You could also use a dead cat, right? You see them very popular uh, with vloggers um, and also for any kind of small production where you just need a little bit of help reducing uh, reducing wind and things that are hitting the microphone itself. When you get to a bigger level, then you have things like blimps or um, full-size wind covers for a shotgun microphone. I have one here that was actually sent to me by Digital Photo. So this thing is pretty freaking big, right? Uh, typically, you would really only use this if you have um, uh, like a boom operator, right? It has a boom pole, there's a mic at the end of it, and then we have uh, this you know wind cover or blimp on top of it. The microphone is located inside, uh, probably can't see it, but trust me, it's inside. And what it does is it lives inside of this blimp. Now, when I was sent this, I said, well, you know, I can give it a shot. I don't know how practical it is for someone like me uh, to use this all the time uh, as I'm not a boom operator. You know, I usually hire people to um, operate a boom and also to uh, get cleaner audio for me when I need it. But there are times when I do capture ambience or capture Foley, uh, things I can use for sound design in my own work uh, professional work or personal work. And as more of a documentary filmmaker, um, something like this is actually more practical than using um, a dead cat. As I feel like with a dead cat, you know, it helps and it's actually a lot easier to travel with. But I know that with a dead cat, it's barely gonna help me under circumstances where there's a ton of wind coming at me and a ton of wind coming at the microphone. What I wanna do in this video is uh, show you guys and give you guys my honest opinion, is, you know, this thing worth it? Um, in three categories. So the first one is how practical is it? Number two, does it actually do a better job than using, um, you know, say like a 30, 40, $50 uh, die cut you can get from Rode? And then three, um, is it worth the price? Now the digital photo wing cover blimp comes in at $184 US. I don't know if that's something that, you know, many people would buy unless they actually uh, use something like that day in and day out, right? For someone like me that I might use it three, four or five times, so a handful of times um, throughout the year, I don't know if it's exactly practical for me to use. I think it depends, you know, those handful of times where I know I'm gonna be going into a situation where uh, I have no control over the environment, the environmental environment, um, I think it's probably worth it, right? Uh, you're paying 184 bucks, you know, you might say to yourself, well, I have 184 bucks, I can get a really good, uh, very blendy filter, I can get uh, maybe like two um, Zoom H1s, I need some better audio. You have different options where you need to kind of figure out where your budget is, what's most important uh, that you need to purchase. Now, as far as audio tests, let's put the uh, Deity S Mic 2 instead of the Blimp, and I'm gonna put the Rode NTG2 with just um, a dead cap. You know, does this thing actually really work when wind's hitting the microphone? Now, as far as ease of use, I mean, it's pretty easy. You just put it inside the blimp and then you connect your XLR cable to the other end and you're good to go, right? Um, but when it comes to actually usability, what are you gonna put the thing on, right? Typically, this thing is meant to be put on a boom pole, but if you're not the one using the boom pole, you know, what are you gonna use? For interview setups, I have kind of like a jerry rig DIY um, boom pole that I use. Um, and I've been able to actually fit this on top of it without having to use a sandbag, which I think is pretty cool. So then you might be saying to yourself, well then how the heck am I supposed to use this when I have to use 
my camera, maybe I'm on a gimbal, or you know, maybe you're on a gimbal, maybe you're going handheld, um, or maybe you're on a tripod. For me, I don't have anything accessory-wise that I can just you know plug this on top of my camera, whether it's my GH5 or my uh, my Pocket 4K. Uh, so that being said, the blimp for me is going to live on a boom stand or it's going to live on a boom pole. Again, practicality comes into place, right? Like for me, I'm not a boom operator. I'm not going to be holding up a boom and then also you know holding a camera. That's just just doesn't make any sense. I think if you're filming in environments a lot of the time where you're outdoors, you're outside. Uh, there's just a lot of wind <laughs> wherever you live. Maybe you're in Chicago. I don't know, right? Uh, or maybe you live in like the high desert and there's just wind everywhere you film. Um, I think in that instance, then, you know, spending 184 bucks for cleaner audio is gonna be worth it. If you guys liked the video, hit the thumbs up button. I would appreciate it. Leave a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts on using blimps, so wind covers and your own experiences with them. Subscribe to our YouTube channel as always, so you're notified of new content coming out. And remember friends, every day you have an opportunity to create your experience and to write and tell your own story. My name is David Lee. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.